Yeah, I think tokens are very interesting because um, I I see tokens, you know, as a primitives, and so what that really means is um, you can really use it for anything, and you know. If you're building a game, or if you're building an app, or you're building some kind of service app, um, you can tokenize or create a token for any specific functionality or feature set in your game. And so, something that you know I personally have done, like a couple of weeks ago, I was like, "Oh, I want to build an arcade game. It'll be fun. It will be easy to play." And I was like, "Oh, you know, token could be useful because I could tokenize almost every single thing." The experience that you gain is a is a form of tokens, is a form of fungible token, and the items that you buy is like a, almost like a, um, a semi fungible tokens, and you can kind of like pick almost a, the different features set within a game or um, a, um, a kind of service or your app from platform. You can tokenize it. You can create a token to represent the ownership. Or to represent the, um, the progress, or to represent you know kind of um, any type of like um, 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 data representation that you want to have, um, you can kind of encode that in tokens. So in the game that I've created, for example, I use a token like NFT, for example, to represent battle pass, right? The 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 theme that you that you earn in a game that get turned into NFTs and you can use that and apply that for your game. 